Just how good are the new Houston Rockets? After signing Christian Wood for three years and $41 million, locking up DeMarcus Cousins on a one-year deal, plus trading for a top playmaker in John Wall, the new GM in Houston isn't messing around. This video shows you how well those pieces mesh with the beard James Harden, plus stay tuned to see a prediction of Houston's success this year. If you're already subscribed, welcome back to D-Flow Hoops. If you're new here and a basketball fan interested in NBA rankings, predictions, and stories, welcome aboard. You came to the right place. Please subscribe and click the bell so you get notified every time I post new content, which is at least twice a week. Real Tampa earns the comments or shout out for answering the question by saying he's most hyped about the Portland Trailblazers. They certainly upgraded their depth around Damon CJ. Great answer. Top five on the speaks board at the end of 2020 get yearly awards and everyone goes back to zero in 2021. The question for next video shout out is coming up. During the James Harden era, Houston's made two conference finals appearances since 2015, but after getting one win from the NBA Finals back in 2018, the last two years have seen the Rockets fail to get past the second round. After 2019's West Semis loss to the Warriors, Chris Paul was traded away for Russ in the offseason, and center Clint Capella was traded midway through the 2019-20 campaign in a bold attempt at small ball from now former GM Daryl Morey. Then, their second scorer last year, Russell Westbrook, took over four threes per game in the 2020 playoffs, but made just 24% of those deep range shots. So he was recently traded away for another former All-Star point guard in John Wall. You'll see a breakdown of that acquisition shortly. But James Harden averaged just under 30 points on very solid efficiency in the second round of the 2020 playoffs, but the Rockets were still easily taken care of by the Lakers in five games, and you guessed it, the second round. There were rumors early on this offseason that James Harden wanted out of Houston and preferred to join Irving and Durant in Brooklyn, but after the moves that the Houston front office made, it doesn't seem like Harden's getting traded. Houston's big-time free agent signing this offseason was locking up a big man who broke out for Detroit towards the end of last season in Christian Wood. New Rockets general manager Raphael Stone locked up the 25-year-old power forward Christian for $41 million over three years. As a starter after Drummond got traded from the Pistons last year, from February 3rd onward, Wood averaged 22.3 points, 9.5 rebounds in 34.1 minutes per game, shooting 56% from the field and 41% from three-point range. The Pistons were 10.4 points per 100 possessions better when Wood was on the floor and had a net efficiency rating similar to that of the Nuggets, Thunder and Pacers. When he went to the bench, Detroit's rating plummeted to just slightly better than that of the league worst Warriors. The 6 foot 10 big can do major damage either rolling to the rim or popping out behind the three point line. Plus, Christian's no slouch on the other end of the floor. The man averaged 1.5 blocks and 0.9 steals per 36 minutes last season. In terms of Wood's fit next to James Harden and John Wall, I think he'll mesh fluently setting screens and getting open looks at the basket by playing off these two. The Beard and Wall are pick and roll heavy ball handlers. Christian's the perfect player to catch passes and draw attention away from them. The Rockets finally have a center as they signed DeMarcus Cousins to a one year deal worth just over $2 million. Boogie's arrival in H Town means that he'll be reunited with his former college teammate at Kentucky and John Wall. In DeMarcus's introductory press conference with the Rockets, he stated that Wall is quote unquote like a brother for life. Wall and Cousins were both one and done freshmen in top five draft picks in the 2010 NBA draft. Their NBA careers also took on a similar path, with both athletes earning all star and all NBA appearances up until injuries with their careers on the shelf. For Cousins, it started in 2018 with an Achilles tear, then in 2019 a quad injury, and lastly, again in 2019, it was an ACL injury, which he's now recovered from. And for Wall, it was December of 2018, just about two years ago exactly when he suffered a torn Achilles, and he's been out of action since. Cousins also said in the press conference that it would be a dream to play with Wall in the NBA. John and Demarcus have kept in close contact throughout their NBA lives and have helped each other through their injury rehabilitation as well. The bond that these two have formed over the past decade brings a new layer of team chemistry to the Rockets this upcoming season. 
but you have to question how much Cousins can provide after suffering three major injuries. The last time we saw him play consistently, Cousins was playing nicely alongside current Los Angeles Lakers star Anthony Davis when they both played for the Pelicans in 2017-18. Just under three years ago, Cousins averaged 25 points and five assists per game in that season. When he's healthy, Cousins doesn't only have a beastly post-up game, but he's an excellent passer and can handle the ball like a guard on the perimeter. He's one of 11 players in NBA history with career averages of at least 20 points, 10 rebounds, and 3 assists. He's the only player in NBA history to have averaged at least 15 points, 8 rebounds, and 3 assists in fewer than 27 minutes per game in a single season. And here's another thing to consider, the Rockets haven't had a frontcourt duo like Cousins and Wood since Elijuan and Sampson in the late 80s. And the high point of Elijuan and Sampson's tenure was when the Rockets were Western Conference champions in 86. And with the Marcus and Christian, Space City might have version 2.0 of the Twin Towers down low. Just when the NBA offseason had appeared to calm down, the Houston Rockets pulled the trigger on a blockbuster deal to land five-time All-Star John Wall, albeit at the expense of Russell Westbrook. But the combination of Harden and Wall will now look to finally get the Rockets over the top in the West. GM Raphael Stone's vision for the team this season clearly didn't include Russ next to James in the backcourt, as the Rockets acquired Wall instead, along with the future first-round draft pick from the Washington Wizards. Wall's strength compared to Westbrook is his ability to be a true point guard. The term true emphasizes Wall's ability to run the floor and possibly allow Harden to develop an off-ball role. The past three seasons, he hasn't played due to injury, but in every season from 2013-14 all the way through 2016-17, John Wall was at least top three in the league in assists. You have to figure the five-time All-Star is going to adjust his playing style in order to stay healthy, but if he can stay on the floor, Harden and the Rockets offense will be adding debatably the best playmaker in the NBA. Walls look sensational in workouts for months now, so it seems the best scorer in basketball in the beard is going to be getting a backcourt partner who's a top passer of his generation. You can't forget, Houston still has one of the best perimeter defenders in the league as well as a deadly corner three-point shooter in P.J. Tucker. Tucker's individual defense and relentless passion he brings every night make him deserved of a championship. The Rockets also kept Eric Gordon, who brings a reliable scoring punch at small forward, at least in the regular season, but they also signed Gerald Green, who was a part of the team's run to get one win from the finals in 2018. Rounding out the depth, there's a sniper in Ben McElmore, who played 71 games for Houston last year. He took six threes per game and made a very solid 40% of them. Lastly, there's even more three-point shooting with Sterling Brown, who played for Milwaukee last year, and Chris Clemens, who's another efficient marksman who can actually play some defense too. Now for my prediction of where the Rockets will place next year and my way too early thoughts on where they can go in the playoffs. These Rockets are heavily banking on two things to happen this year. A, for DeMarcus Cousins to not get injured while being a capable man in the middle, because we found out how the small ball thing played out last year. And B, for James Harden to stay committed to the franchise. And so far, with the reports of James missing practice, that isn't going so well. But I'm not overreacting to one visit to the strip club. The best scorer in the world does as he pleases, and I think new GM Raphael Stone's done the best job possible in order to retool the Rockets roster for success. Houston grabs the fourth or fifth seed in the Western Conference, and with their depth on the wing, they're capable of beating about anyone in a seven-game series. The teams that would cause them the most problems would be the Utah Jazz, the Denver Nuggets, and of course, the powerhouse, LA Lakers. That's because of Gobert, Jokic, plus AD. And that's why the Rockets finding a center who can take up space and be a capable presence down low on both ends is crucial. If only they hadn't traded away Capella, because Cousins may struggle getting elevation after two surgeries to his lower body. Christian Wood should help them guarding a menace like Anthony Davis, but I fear Houston's thin up front a little bit. However, the Harden and Wall combination in the backcourt has a chance to be extremely dynamic and ultimately generationally great. Washington seems happy with Russ, but I think the speed, quarterbacking, and motivation that Wall's gonna have make Houston the clear winner of this trade. 
Houston, I think, has a real shot at getting back to the conference finals, and anything can happen in the postseason. But how far do you think the Rockets will go next year? The best answer in the comments section down low gets next video shout out. Follow your boy on Instagram and Twitter at DFlowHoops to stay updated on the channel and to be friends. Links in the description for both those platforms. That's at DFlowHoops. As always, this was DFlow, and I'll see you next video.